racism, sexual abuse and a culture of cover-up. These are the findings of a long-awaited inquiry into the abuse of vulnerable children who'd been placed in the care of Lambeth Council. Shane Donnelly was one of those children. In 1968, when he was just a year old, he was taken to the biggest council-run home, Shirley Oaks, and says from that moment onwards he was abused by multiple members of staff. And we had a paedophile living in our house who the police were aware of before I became a victim of his. That's just one of my abusers. Um, and they did nothing. So he went on to be a prolific abuser to, to myself and other children. In fact, the inquiry found that frontline staff frequently failed to take action when they knew about abuse and even continued to employ staff knowing they were a risk to children. Clive Driscoll is a former Metropolitan Police officer and worked on the case in the 1990s. He says he feels the investigation wasn't taken seriously enough back then. There were people that were predicting this massive, you know, um, abuse of a scale that is mind-blowing, really. There were people predicting that, and I'd hoped that the investigation would find that out. As a result of the inquiry, Lambeth Council has been given recommendations to ensure children in its care are kept safe. In a statement, it says the council was responsible for their care and protection but failed with profound consequences and failed to acknowledge concerns when they arose, often failed to believe children when they disclosed abuse and then failed to take effective action. That so many children and adults were not believed, compounded their experiences and caused further pain and distress with lifelong impacts. Shane Donnelly is just one of hundreds of children who've shared their experiences of abuse. Well, today's report has shed some insight into what went on in Lambeth's council-run children's homes. The lasting effects on those children, who are now adults, lives on. Catherine Nash, Five News.